Hey guys, welcome back to JR Technology Solutions. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do uh, a quick overview on this firewall that I just bought. So this is the Protectly Vault 4 port. Um, so I'm gonna say this uh, from the get-go is that I've done firewalls with eight gigs of RAM and with 32 gigabyte uh, virtual you know, hard disk. And it, it worked out pretty well. So I'm hoping this will be the same way since it's hardware. Um, and I went ahead and got the Tristan 32 gigabyte MSATA and then the 8 gigabyte crucial uh, stick of RAM. So I'm going to start off by um, taking this apart and showing you what I did because like all IT people, I incidentally took uh, a few extra hours trying to figure out which, uh, which spot the actual storage device is supposed to go into. Anyway, so... Right here you see it's got the the WAN port, the LAN port, and then the two optionals. And then here's your, oh, wrong way, here's your power. And on the flip side, you have your power button and then a, a USB 2.0 and 3.0 and then your VGA if you want to connect a, uh, a monitor straight to it and then your COM port. So I, I didn't use the COM port in this case. I actually just connected a monitor and then a, a wireless keyboard and mouse over here. And then I was able to uh, boot off of a USB. So I'm going to flip this over and show you uh, how I did it. This might take a second to get these screws out. Bear with me. It's actually in here pretty tight. All right, guys, I had to switch uh, cameras because the other one was too blurry. But basically all I did was unscrew these two screws, and there's two on the bottom. It's out of frame. You can't quite see. But all you do is unscrew those guys, and then you take this back cover off. And then here's the inside of it. So... You can also take the back cover off right here and the front cover off. I'm not going to worry about doing that right now. I mean, you literally just slide it off. Um, so the thing I wanted to mention here is that there are two slots that look similar, and uh, and the storage device can fit in either one of them. But in the directions, it says you, only one will work for that purpose. Um, so this may be for an additional, you know, chip or whatever. Not sure. Um, but this was right. This is where I was able to put the storage, you know, the storage device, and it work. And then here's your stick of RAM. So th th this is all ba uh, basically it for the hardware piece. You plug this in, and then you plug the RAM in, and you put the cover back on. And once you do that, you can do like I was uh, talking about in my other video, and you can uh, plug in. You can either do it two ways. You can do it through the COM port with PuTTY or TerraTerm or whatever, or you can go through and you can <laughs> do what I did. And you can squeeze a, uh, a wireless file, a keyboard file next to a USB flash drive and then plug a VGA cable into a monitor and then do it directly off the device itself. But once you're able to uh, get to this point and you can put the cover back on and then flip it over and get everything plugged into it and then it's basically just like loading OpenSense on a regular, you know, just anything else really. Uh, I have a few videos out there on OpenSense uh, that some of you probably have seen and uh, you just load it like normal. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together, and I'm going to put it in production in one of the uh, one of the organizations that I'm supporting, and then I will put a uh, post-review video up, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, well, thank you all very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share if you, if you uh, can or want to, and you all have a good day. Thank you.